The food bank has been in the Wilmington community and in the Cape Fear region for upwards of 40 years. So a lot of people do know who we are, but being where we are located, we don't have a front door to the community. So there are many challenges with a current facility, but the, the biggest one has been just running out of space. It's small, it's old, it's cold, it's uninviting. In 2018, the only grocery store accessible to thousands of public housing residents was destroyed in a massive fire and created a food desert. In 2020, the food bank purchased that land to begin construction on their brand new facility. So when we kicked off the campaign in late 2019, we didn't know what was right around the corner for us in March 2020, which we now know was a pandemic. You know, when the budget was first created for the new food bank, it was $7 million. But like everything else, after the pandemic, everything started going up. The cost of everything went up. So simply put, it went over budget. And the food bank was at a point of no return. So when WECT was asked to get involved, and raising $100,000, it was that we can do it, and we did. And that's how the Open the Doors to Feed More campaign began. We, WECT, um, got together with our media partners, namely radio stations, and said, hey, look, we'll either come to you or you can come to us, and let's put our heads together, put the call out, get the community to answer the call, and that is precisely what happened. We went all out. I mean, obviously we did news stories. We did several news stories talking about the need. We did promotional spots. We created a website that was very easy for our viewers to go log on, make your donation, simple as that. Uh, and so we put our hearts and souls into it because we understood the mission. The response to the, the call to action from WECC was extremely strong right out of the gate. Once we did that, did the news stories, the promos, I mean, we were all out for it. The community jumped on board and boom, like that, we raised the money. We did meet the $100,000 goal that we set out to meet in partnership with WECT. And what it has allowed us to do was really do everything on our wish list, right? So we had new trucks on the wish list. We had a new forklift on the wish list. Um, we had um, a, a community kitchen, which would include everything we would need to cook in that kitchen from the, the pots to the pans to the lids to all those things. There aren't enough words to really explain what this new facility is going to do, not just for the community in need of food, but for the community as a whole. It's going to serve so many purposes. Um, the fact that it's big, it's brand new, is wonderful, but I think this new building is going to be a game changer for this community. We're going to start feeding even more people than we were feeding from the current facility. This is a brand new facility that is not just to serve those in need of food, but to serve the community. And I do believe it's gonna be a game changer.